So um, what intrigued me the most about, because I've only, like, I found you guys uh, like two weeks ago, or whenever you did the interview with uh, Michael um, in Germany, Tactical Canine Family. Um, I think the thing that um, got my attention the most is how I, I saw on your story this past week how you were working with um, uh, uh, branding and marketing and such, and you had a lot of clients fall off due to uh, COVID and whatever else is going on, um, and how this is just kind of like taken off so quickly. Um, I wanted to just kind of get your insight on that and um, this, what you're doing uh, on the back end, so to speak, instead of obviously like Instagram posts and uh, whatever else on how you're um, growing that. So, I mean, the big thing is, so I do this for a living. I literally build brands for a living and help people um, market via social media. When we got Rika, it was April, um, and like March, April is when like clients were like, we can't afford your retainer, like, you know. Right. It was like, um, you know, things are gonna open like uh, April 14th, 27th, and then it was like, we have no idea, yeah, like we can absolutely not pay for I had it. multiple friends Perfect. as well that do, do like web development and stuff like that, and he had clients just dropping like that as well. Yeah, so it was really, really, really hard. Um, so we got Rika in April, and we started her Instagram account. And it started off, you know, we were just doing posts here and there. Um, naturally, me having more time, um, I love making videos. That's why I do what I do, and I love creating content. So I was, you know, as I was training Rika, I was shooting and just doing what I normally do. And then it the, the account started growing, growing like very fast, like popped off. And I wasn't even expecting that to be the case. Like Dave and I were really like, all right, our phones are filled with photos of Rika. Like let's have the Instagram to like be a little yep. uh, like <laughs> archive and, you know, document Rika. And it just has really blossomed into something so much more than just an Instagram account. And I think um, the biggest thing that I have realized is um, there there was a need or is a need for people like regular people um, sharing their experience. You know, a lot of Malinois accounts like show their experience in dog sports or in, you know, PSA, shit's in, you know, doing crazy shit, like crazy training, but um, or like really amazing photography. Um, or just like, and then there's the accounts that are like showing their dogs and, you know, just day in life type stuff. But no one was really going into like what, like how to solve problems or just like how to deal with a crazy Malinois puppy. Right. You know, like these puppies are going rogue. How do you stop the bite? Um, and like no one talks about it. Plus like even on like Google or YouTube, like there's not somebody talking about like how to actually stop Malinois biting. Like if you, if you, you know, there's a bunch of different ways, but like you can't really get a straight answer. So I wanted to be a resource. I mean, it kind of just happened this way because people um, just started messaging me and like, and I would just get the same questions over and over again. And the same questions that I myself had. And I realized actually I could be a great resource for people. You know, because I, because I like um, sharing videos and sharing information because, you know, we could, I could share videos like all day long, but I actually like put out videos with a goal in mind. Like when I put out a video, it's not just to like be fancy with, you know, with the shit that they we're doing. Just to post something. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like I actually am thinking about like, how will this help people? <clears throat> Like, uh, is it their dog is similar to um, Rika's age and they're going through that like bratty adolescent period or, you know, they're pulling like a psycho on the leash or, um, you, you, you know, like just classic dog owner stuff. Right. And um, I and really just um, 
now like being that we're now at 19,000 followers like I I can't even believe that like that is fucking fast right then, that's I saw how young she was and I was just like whoa what the fuck like she she's so young and like and what I saw in your story this past week is that like your idea of the brand YOLO pub and that's that's another thing that like really spiked my interest because obviously like you're, you're working these dog tutorials and such and that's how I found uh, Michael again uh, like uh, before I got her I saw him and he had like ten thousand followers at the time and he just broke like fifty thousand and um, and just seeing that grow and escalate so quickly and when there is just this constant just sea of shit <laughs> on Instagram and. Um, Obviously, like, you guys do a fantastic job of branding your stuff. It's all very clean. It's very uh, easy to get a hold. It's very easy to go buy a Poochie Tug, uh, which I'm very excited to be getting ours on Tuesday, I believe, is when it's coming. Yay, um, yes. So, um, and that's what, like, blew my mind is that you said that this was, like, something that kind of, like, evolved over the last, like, month or so, month, two months or so. Um and you're already, you're turning like, you're turning followers and likes and such into hard cash. I won't say hard cash, but like actual tangible figures. And um, that that is what caught my attention the most because like uh, you can go buy a tug on Amazon for $15 or something like that. But like when you're a part of like a community that of these different trainers and these people like, um, I'm, I'm not a trainer at all, but like, I feel like I've done a really good job with uh, Shadow. She, she turns 11 months um, this week in two, two days. Yeah. And I, I work really hard with her obedience stuff and I, I struggle with a lot of her drive work. Um, but you're able to like talk to these people and build off of that and seeing what you've done with Yellow Pup uh, just in the quick short amount of time is what really captured my attention. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah, I mean, the the birth of Yolo Pub was really in May, like aside from like there not being some, like an account similar to ours, um, like actually like training videos and providing information. I also couldn't find a leather tub that was gentle for like a teeth. Like, Back in May, I was like, you know, there was it's fire. Just, it's all that hard, the, the hard, like, sleep material. Yeah. yeah. And like, Rika's little baby tea, she's not latching onto that, you know? And like, I loved the idea of playing tug with Rika because anyone can play fetch with their dog. Like, you go to the park and there's other people there. We were just at a park earlier. Everyone picks up the ball and throwing it at Rika. She loves it. But like, I play tug with her, and that's our special thing. And like right. teaching her the drop, like that is, I, I feel like tug is a really great foundational game for, for dogs and dog owners to take part in. Like, I think the owner like learns a lot in that process. So um, Absolutely. it started with the, the leather Yolo Pup tug. And um, I have people reaching out in like May and June saying like, where did you get the tug? And like, I had been, I like, I had found a tub. And people made it to make it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so I had, I, in the beginning, Devin, I sent it to three people. Three people. That's wild. Like, and now you just people. sold like what? Two, two, a hundred or two hundred poochie Two hundred. That's 200. fucking bonkers. God. Like, <laughs> like, mind you, I, like, it, it, it blows my mind because it, it, it's really like, but you have to remember that on the, the what we're talking about the back end, I really put so much time into t communicating with everyone. I answer literally every single message, every right. single DM. You, you answer every comment. You like everyone. You answer the DMs. Like that's yeah, I, I've noticed that. Like I don't take a follow lightly. Like if you're up on my page and like interacting with our stuff, I appreciate that. Like genuinely, like what is, however many followers, like what does that, a number is just a number. Like I care about exactly. actually like communicating and making an impact. Like your name, for instance, it's like, okay, you know, this is Devin, I'm talking to Devin. Like, you know, like yeah. I like having that 
um, connection. Like we both have a working dog. And um, I, I think like with Yola Pup, yes, you could buy a tub anywhere, but I think knowing that them when you're a part of a community, like you want to be a part of that. And to be completely honest, that's the reason why I bought that one over the demolished one that she had is because I wanted a chance to actually like uh, have this conversation and such because um, that's it's a very similar idea that I want to do with her. You know, like I want to breed her in the future. I want to have a kennel and expand that as a brand. And uh, a side note, I'll probably email you more on actually hiring you to do more things. Uh, in the future um but uh but yeah like seeing the, the growth of that and actually like turn to concrete figures that is what caught my attention the most um and how like uh, unrelated like do you um do you constantly like run ads and such for these on like on insta do you is it all like word of mouth and sharing posts and such or I am proud to say that I have not put a penny into advertising. That's, God, oh my God, that's fucking wild. And I am literally like, I don't want to. I, I, I want to see how long this can go without me putting money into it. Like, that. That's so wild though, like to see like once, once you're able to like, you know, uh, sell out the 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 bunch like uh, or get a hold of a, a, a bundle quantity and then able to turn around and take that revenue and turn it back into an ad campaign like later on like that's that's going to be absolutely awesome that's that's killer and, and like what what amazes me so much about that and how I uh, wanted to inquire about it is like uh, I do a lot of music stuff here as well like every other asshole in Nashville. Oh, well, you're in LA, so it's probably a similar story there as well. <laughs> um, it, it's so like, and what I noticed about like, aside from the dog community on Instagram versus like music, is that like there's still just this this infinite weight of stuff that you have or uh, sea of stuff that you have to wade through in creating a product, and uh, not only like an actual tug, uh, but also like content where that that reaches out uh, and, and reaches people so that you don't have to spend money on ads because I wish I have not spent a penny on ads. And let me tell you, that has been the absolute complete different story for me. I mean, I think the big thing is like, know what you're selling. I mean, music and stuff with, like you can't really compare like music and- um, Right, dog, it's, it's, dog it's a tug is not subjective. It's so hard, it, exactly, exactly. Um, but the thing is, is like, um, what's your, I, I, I can't even compare, I can't even compare. So uh, like with Yellow Pup, um, my mission is to help people strengthen their bond with their dog. Like right. that's what it is. And to help people be a resource. I am the connector now that I have, because I put the, um, I do the work in getting the trainers on. Like I'm, I called up Larry Crone. You know that, like Larry <laughs> Like, I literally, That's wild. I, I, yeah, like, I, this is not, you know, I, I, I messaged him, I wait, I didn't hear from him, and then finally he responds to the message, and then I was asking him, like, when can we schedule it, and I gave him, like, the two days that we normally do it, I didn't hear back from him, I started getting discouraged, it was like a day, two days, three days, and then I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna feel, I'm not gonna, like, think he ghosted me or anything, maybe he's not good on Instagram. Right. Let me call him. And so I picked up the phone, called him, like, hey, Larry, this is Jillian Wilson calling from Yolo Pub. And it was so, I, I just know not many people would do that. And I'm doing it because people love Larry Crone. I've had a lot of, I love Larry Crone, but I've had a lot of people request to have Larry Crone on. And so I, like, did my homework to get him on. Right. And, like, that's what, and and that's what it is like it's it's i i take this stuff really seriously and that's well, just what it comes down to what what's what's uh, it'll make you feel even better um so we had training today i i recently just got shadow signed up uh over last month at global canine protection service here in uh or it's in uh franklin which is right in davidson county area in nashville and uh shout out to courtney she's fantastic um she does a ton of work she's um just fantastic and we were talking earlier 
um, uh, she was asking me about like the patches for like our kennel, kennel logo and whatever. And she was like, oh, hey, like, when are you going live with Yellow Pup? Like, uh, we fuck with them and I, I want to watch this. <laughs> and I was like, oh, word, yeah. Like, we'll be on here yes. in a little bit. Good. So. Oh, yeah, Courtney is awesome. Courtney's amazing and Rebecca's amazing. But Courtney, oh my gosh, I still have to cut. We did a Zoom. She answered all my questions on personal protection. She knows her stuff. So, that's yeah. see that's so cool and that's what i love about like this whole little um i i really truly is a community of like trainers and getting involved with like not just owning a dog but like and even if you don't have a per se like working dog like getting involved with people who have no more than you do um who are willing to help you get to what you to do what you want to do and um developing products that ultimately help them build that relationship and such. Um, and obviously that's exactly what you're doing. And so just whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. Cause you're doing a great job. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The one, so the one thing I want to point out, um, like fleshing out like all the details is, um, even though I didn't put, I, so I haven't put any money into ads. I have gifted to influencers. Okay. I've, in, I've gifted to 20 influencers. Gotcha. 20 dog influencers. I, I'm just like literally like going through my, my, my line item, you know, like and, where. And see, so, so that, like, oh, that's, that's what we do. So like, there's a picture of Shadow that circulates on the German Shepherd accounts of her. Like she was like uh, 12 weeks old as shots at the vet and she's just all plopped down or whatever. And I literally got tagged in another photo. I posted that photo like, three months ago or uh, months ago and it still gets circulated on stuff like that and these accounts that have like 60,000 200,000 500,000 10,000 um so do you uh do you credit a lot of that are there any other tools per se that you used in expanding not only Rika but also Yolo Pup was it just like gifting those to influencers per se to be honest to be completely honest with you, it has enough. It, I mean, I appreciate the influencers, but what it comes down to is the community. Word of mouth. Yes. Yeah. It's, it, it's all the people that I are that are watching the um, Q and A's that are like tuning into the the lives on Wednesday at five o'clock that are like, you know, messaging me about, you know, whatever's going on with their dog and those people then we connect and then they want to support and right. from there they share they naturally share um when they get the stuff uh, it's exciting like who doesn't like getting gifts and then i i know how how much fun it is to get presents i mean like i i love getting it's like you can get stuff on amazon and then it's just like blah like we can order <laughs> stuff on amazon all day long and it's like Okay, great. Amazon Prime, like all day. Yeah, long. end up but returning this half the shit because it's like, oh, this isn't how I thought it was going to be. <laughs> exactly. But there's something really special about waiting for something, like not yep. knowing when you're going to get it and then having it um, fulfilled by someone, like fulfilled by me. Like I'm literally wrapping it in tissue paper and like, you, you know, I put a lot of time and effort into it just like all the other things that i am doing with yola pup so um I, I forgot what the question is i'm, I'm going oh dog influencers um, <laughs> well so, i mean you yeah. answered it basically at that point it was word of mouth yeah, yeah. well in, in that case that you like you like gifts and such uh we're gonna have to uh get you one of get you one of these Whoa! It's a Velcro patch that so that's, there's that, and we'll get you a we'll get you a koozie as well. Oh my gosh, love it! Wait, so tell me about your stuff. So, um, Shadow is uh, just she'll be 11 months next week, um, and what I'm wanting to do with her in the future is I obviously I want to breed her because um, she predominantly comes from a show line, especially on her father's side. Um, so she's not necessarily a working dog, um, but uh, she's a 65 pound German Shepherd and that's not something I want to fuck with. So, and I, like you said, you know, tug is something that is uh, a lot of fun and 
that I had this conversation with Michael as well, having not necessarily sport or work, um, but recreational vibes. So like you can, you can go out and you can uh, work your dog and uh, do all these things and not necessarily be involved in one category or the other, but just over the um, spectrum. And so uh, Von Schattenhugel is of the Shadow Hill. My last name is Hill. Shadow. Ha, funny. It also sounds very, really cool. <laughs> um, so I, I want to breed her. I want to, uh, and in that, um, with all the skill sets that I've learned from people online like yourself and Michael and also Courtney firsthand, um, eventually work with like uh, these people that uh, get her puppies and like do offer like obedience trainings and stuff like that and help help them not only just not just own a dog but like be with their dog and because I, like it's I don't have a girlfriend or wife or anything like I bought this house like, two years ago and then I was like a year ago I was like all right I'm getting a dog and so I found this breeder over here in Dixon Tennessee uh, Twin Oaks. And uh, they've been doing it for 12 years. And um, I got Shadow and it was like night and day difference. It was just like getting to spend so much time with her. Um, fortunately, but unfortunately during uh, COVID and working from home and all this, all this stuff. Um, but I want to expand that from a kennel and training services and um, a product at some point as well. Not just, not just a, something with a logo on it, you know, that's, that's subjective. That, like, that's, that's, if you're associated when you know about it, that's cool. But um, creating something and that is valuable to the community as a whole, like tugs and such, like, like you've done. So again, this kind of comes full circle as, as to why I wanted to reach out to you. So, well, you have to start somewhere, and I freaking love your aspirations, and you can absolutely do it. I, I love that. Um, what are you going, like, what is the next step? I always think that it's, it's good when you have, you know, your big goal. Like, what is the small thing that you can do, like, today, tomorrow, next week? Right. Uh, for me, uh, since she's nowhere near breeding, I won't breed her until after she's two years old, obviously. Um, for me, at this point, it's just, taking it upon myself to research training and to go through these courses. Like I've been working with Courtney. I was there earlier today. I have, we have classes every Sunday for the rest of the month. Um, and learning, I, I learned something today. I, ha I handled a Malinois today, actually. And mm -hmm. I, I was, cause I, I struggle with shadow and that she's, she's, she has good drive or I won't say good. She has moderate drive here at the house where she's comfortable. And but like working with Courtney, there's dogs barking like and she's just kind of like, eh, eh, it's all right. It's kind of cool. But um, we tried getting trying doing something where I, I worked with her dog and Shadow had to watch me like handle hers. And let me tell you, that was experience. I have I got like rope burn on my hand because I <laughs> the dog, the dog uh, like was going. I was like, oh, my God, this is not what I'm fucking used to. <laughs> and uh so uh th that was the first time for me aside from like doing obedience training or something like i um um uh, like i had to learn how to like properly hold a lead and position myself for a dog that actually is about to like fuck this sleeve up and yeah. uh so that's that's my small step like my day to day is like aside from like sharing content and whatever doing like little things that i know how to do but um learning things that I don't know how to do and making her learn it, whether she likes it or not as well. <laughs> That's awesome. So if you, aside from breeding her and breeding the kennel and training, you know, all of that, do you want to become a trainer yourself? I, I'd like to in the future. Um, it's something that is um, completely like left field for me. I've had dogs growing up my whole life, but uh, this is the first one that's like uh, me living on my own and she being with me 24 seven and seeing how far I can, I can do it. I can take it. Um, mm -hmm. And obviously like it's, she's my first one. So there's a lot of things that I learned uh, soon off, like definitely get, give them a bath as soon as you get them and get them comfortable with that because I made that mistake and she will not go into the bath 
like she won't I have to take her out back and hose her down on the patio because she won't get in the tub um so that's just taking it day by day and doing things like that and continuing to um what little I know help other people as well uh, I've helped like a friend friend or two of mine they see like little videos that I put up of her and like doing obedience training at least and uh like they see her wait on the floor and just drool coming out waiting to eat her dinner and she's not allowed to touch her dinner until I tell her to and I'll sit there I'll eat my whole plate and my parents are, they'll see that and they're like what are you doing that's so cruel and I'm like no I'm teaching her I'm disciplining her like I'm making her wait she's not touching it until I tell her to and she'll wait and then I tell her to and boom so it's a uh, it's a lot of fun I, I think and I, I may not be as much of like a commercial trainer like Courtney or uh, some of uh, I saw um, uh, Reckless Dutch as well. Like that that dog is an animal. He is wild. I love watching his videos. Yeah, uh, he's amazing. <laughs> but um, at least as part of the circle that I imagine at this point, who knows where that would be later on. But mm -hmm. we'll see. Awesome. I mean. So right now, are you are you wanting to like really um, set the foundation for your kennel? You know, yes. in like let's say five, ten years. Yeah, that so that's really what all this is about at this point is just us learning about me learning about her, and then uh, obviously like she understanding um, what I'm trying to uh, to teach her as well, and leverage myself as well as not only like a, as a breeder or a trainer or whatever else, but, um, as a person, uh, cause like, as you said, it's community. And I think the more that you're able to offer, um, in those services and such, it, people really do value that. Mm -hmm. And they appreciate what you're, what you're going to, to do with them as well. Like, you know, your dog's not just going to be, laying around or like just playing with a toy on the floor. Like you're actually going to go out, you're going to go to these parks, you're going to do, um, do whatever. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. but yeah, that's, that's where we're at anyways. But like I said, it's, it's a work in progress and also Yolo pup is fantastic and I cannot wait to, to get our stuff in. So I won't keep too much of your time. I know that kind of drug on a little bit longer. Uh, than I thought, mm -hmm. but, um, but yeah, thank you so much. Um, of course. Well, <laughs> you have to keep me um, posted on your progress and, and don't be a stranger. If you have questions, message me, uh, let me know how it goes with the tug. And yes. Yeah, oh, don't worry. You, you will be tagged in all the tug work. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Awesome. Thank you so much, Devin. It was great chatting with you. You too. You too. You have a good one. Okay. You too. Good night. Good night.